Riders, welcome to episode two of the biggest e-bike motor test that has ever been conducted at Sam's Bikes. Today, we are doing the sound test when climbing and also when smashing down a downhill to see how much rattle these systems have. And last week, we did the hill climb test, which was the fastest. If you haven't seen it, link in the show notes. And riders, I suggest, if you haven't subscribed to Sam's Bikes, please do so because you don't want to miss to find out in the coming weeks which is crowned the best e-bike motor. Now let's introduce the motors and bikes on test. Number one, the Specialized Turbo. With the Bros Mag S motor, 90 new meters of torque on the Specialized Levo. Number two, the Bosch Race motor with 85 new meters of torque on the Canyon Strive on. Number three, the SRAM powertrain system with the Bros Mag S with 90 new meters of torque on the Gas Gas ECC. Number four, the Rocky Mountain Dyname 4.0 with 108 Nm of torque on the Rocky Mountain Instinct. Number five, the Bafang M510 with 95 Nm of torque on the VMG Typhon. Number six, the Shimano EPA01 with 85 Nm of torque on the Canyon Spectral On. And lucky last, number seven, the Giant Sync Drive Pro system with the Yamaha PWX3 motor with 85 new meters of torque on the Giant Rain E plus zero. Now, before we head out to the mountains, this test and Sam's Bikes is not possible without our amazing sponsors. First up, Schwabi. Every bike here has tacky chance. We've got on the ultra soft on the front and the soft on the back. So they're the control tires. Massive shout out to Schwabi, the long-term sponsor at Sam's Bikes. And then Quadlock. I could not live without my Quadlock. I love it, I have it on all the bikes here. I use it as a teleprompter. Riders, if you haven't tried it, you should definitely check it out. And then Crank Brothers, every bike here has Crank Brother pedals. Riders love the setup. Been riding the Crank Brothers shoes and pedals for the last like four months, absolutely love it. And finally, Toe Peak have just come on as a sponsor like four months ago. That's really special to me because when I was like 18, I bought my first multi tool and now they're a sponsor. Absolutely love all their tools and a massive shout out to all our sponsors. Now, let's get out to the mountain. Okay, Legend Riders, it's all about the sound of the e-bike motors today, when you're climbing and when you're smashing down a downhill. And at my local trails, we've got a fire road behind me, which we're gonna climb up and then we're gonna smash it down it. We're gonna look for as much chunder as possible to see how much each system rattles, if they rattle at all. And we're gonna start off with the motor off, and then if the bike has three assistant modes, like the Levo does here, we're gonna show you each assistant modes and how much sound or noise they make. And I'm gonna record it on my action camera here, and I have the DJI wireless mic here, and when I go to edit it, I am going to equalize the first recording, so it actually sounds like what I hear it, and then every bike after that is gonna be equalized the same. So it's exactly what they compare to. And riders, remember there are variables when you are listening to the sound. It really comes down to how the frame's made and the material. Some, like aluminum, conducts the sound less than carbon fiber, but it really is different on each bike. So keep that in mind. So we're starting off with the Levo Gen 3. Let's crack on. And we're off and racing on the Specialized system with the Bros Mag S. The motor is off. Now we go into Eco. And now Trail. And now Turbo. And riders, I'm not gonna say too much about what I think. I want you to listen. Let me know in the comments which you think is the noisiest going up under full load and then going down. And now we're heading down, looking for the worst line, the most chunder, see if the motors rattle. Oh, bad line. And now we're on the gas gas with the SRAM powertrain with the Bros Mag S. And we're starting off in range because you can't actually turn the system off without turning the whole system off. And now we go up to Rally.
And now back down. And now we're on the Canyon Spectral on with the Shimano EP801 and the motor is off. Let's go up to Eco. Trail. And turbo. And now back down. And now we're on the Rocky Mountain with the Dynam 4.0 and the motor is off. Let's go into Assistant 1, so Eco. Now we're in Trail. Now we're in Trail Plus. And Ludicrous. And now back down. And now we're on the Aussie Design VMG with the Bafang M510 and the motor is off. And this bike has five assistant modes. So let's go into the first one. That's two. And that's three, which I believe is sports. Let's go sports plus. And now boost. And now back down. And now we're on the Giant Rain E Plus with the Sync Drive Pro motor or system, which is based off the Yamaha PWX3. And the system is off at the moment. We go to Assistant Mode 1. So in the Giant system, we've got five Assistant Modes. And that's two. That's three. That's four. And this is five. And now back down. And lucky last, my custom Canyon Strive arm with the Bosch race motor and the motor is off. So let's turn it onto the first assistant mode. And the Bosch has four assistant modes. Up into the second. Now third. And the fourth, which is race mode. And now back down. Okay, Legend Riders, we're back at HQ, and that was super interesting, taking all the bikes, same day, same uphill, same downhill, just looking for those subtle differences. Like, honestly, all the motors are not that noisy in 2024. We have moved on, but we are looking for the most silent, so let's geek out. And also, Riders, a massive apology for the delay of the second episode of the Epic Motor Test. I've actually been away doing some secret squirrel stuff. There's a few new e-bikes coming very soon. I cannot wait to show you when I can. But next week, you know, we're back to normal. We're gonna finish off this series in the next four weeks. Okay, first up, which is the most silent e-bike motor for climbing uphill? in 2024 and riders remember all the bikes were recorded in the same way we had the microphone here and when i imported it into final cut i equalized the first one how i would hear it out in the trails and then equalized every motor exactly the same so what you are hearing is what i'm hearing out in the trails so keep that in mind so let's work backwards and in seventh position we have the bafang m510 I felt it was the loudest, just. But at the same time, the pitch of that noise definitely wasn't annoying. Sounds kind of like a jet engine, like a, like a humming sound, definitely not annoying. And in sixth position, the Bosch race motor. And I'm gonna say the sound and the pitch, and almost the volume, 
is very similar to the Bafang. I would say the Bosch is just a little bit quieter under full load. And in fifth position, we have the Rocky Mountain Dynam 4.0. Now, I definitely felt or heard the sound or the decibel lower than the Bosch race, but the pitch of the motor or the sound of the motor did seem like more noticeable. And if you had them side by side, they're quite similar, but the volume or the decibel is a bit lower in the Rocky Mountain. And riders, I'm gonna say I'm definitely not a sound engineer. I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to sound, but this is just how I hear it and how I'm trying to explain it back to you riders. And we have an equal draw for third place, the Shimano EPA-01 and the Sync Drive Pro, which is based off the Yamaha PWX3. I really couldn't tell the difference. You know, they both sounded very quiet under load. Riders, put it in the comments which one you think was more silent. And in second position, we have the SRAM powertrain, which did surprise me because I believe the powertrain and the specialized system are using the same or very similar Brosmag S motor. But you could definitely hear the decibel a bit higher on the gas gas. I'm gonna put that down to possibly the frame design. Uh, you know, as I said, like, you know, different frames conduct or amplify that sound more. And the gas gas has like an open down tube. So it could have been coming out of there and just making it sound louder. And in first position for the most silent motor while climbing under load is the specialized system with the Bros Mag S motor. Now this didn't surprise me. It is a super quiet motor. You can barely hear it under load. But riders, what do you think? Let's listen to them all again from the most loudest to the quietest in my order. I've also equalized the sound, so I've made them all the same but higher, so it's easier for you to really tell. So put it in the comments which one you think is the most silent or the most loudest. Put it in the comments, I would really love to know. And now onto the rattle or clunk while going downhill. And in seventh position, it's the Bafang M510. It definitely has a rattle there. I wouldn't say it's annoying, but you can hear it. And in sixth position, the Bosch Race. You can hear it like it is there, like you really need to hit a lot of chatter to pick it up. And most of the time you're concentrating so much on the downhill, it doesn't bother you. Fifth position, the Shimano EPA-01. Now I think that is greatly improved over the original Shimano EP8. And also, as I always say, riders, it's frame by frame. On the Canyon Spectral on, I can barely hear it. It's definitely not a deal breaker for me. Number four, the Rocky Mountain Dynam 4.0. Now, I don't think this motor rattles. I've done one shakedown ride, like a three hour ride. On full compression, I was getting some type of rattle or some clunk. Now, it could be a cable. I need to look into it. I'll keep you posted. But for me, if the motor does have a rattle, it does it a lot of the time over chatter. So I think this could be something loose, maybe a cable like rattling on the frame. I'll work it out, I'll keep you posted. And in equal first, we have the Specialized System, the SRAM powertrain, and the Giant Sync Drive Pro, because all those motors do not have a rattle. Now on the Giant Rain E Plus Zero that you hear going downhill, you might hear a bit of noise on that one because that bike's like two years old. And on the gas gas, I noticed the gas gas was noisier than the Levo, but definitely it's the same motor, so they don't have rattles. So any of the rattles that you heard on the downhill will be coming from the bikes, not the motor. Okay, Legend Riders, I hope you're still with me. Now let's put those numbers together for the up and down sound test for the most silent motor for 2024. And in seventh position, we've got the Bafang. In sixth, we've got the Bosch race motor. In fifth, we've got the Rocky Mountain Dynam. In fourth, we've got the Shimano EPA-01. 
And in third position, we've got the Giant Sync Drive Pro, which is based off the PWX3. And in second position, we have the SRAM powertrain and the winner of the most silent motor going up and down for 2024 at Sands Bikes is the Specialized System with the Bros Mag S motor. Now that definitely is not a surprise to me. It is a really silent motor out in the trails, up and down, and that's why it won. So there you go, riders, that's episode two. I'm actually not sure why I started this series. It is so much work. But I do love geeking out for you riders because we do want to find out which is the best e-bike motor for 2024. And we are getting close. So last week we did, or the week before, we did the fastest e-bike on the market, hill climbing. If you haven't seen that, link in the show notes. This week was obviously the sound test. Next week, we're doing the overall system. We're doing how does the motor feel? How tunable is the motor? How's the app? How's the integration? So the overall part of the e-bike, super important, really hard video to do. And the following week, we're gonna be doing the range test. So how far can you ride with each motor and battery? So the autonomy, so much going on. Riders, make sure you subscribe to Sands Bikes because you don't wanna miss this. And riders, like always, if you have any questions for any of these systems or any e-bikes, hit me up, I love to help. And you know it, stay safe out there. And we're going to see you next week.